Hi, uh, my name is Anup Gupta. I lead the development group in the technology policy group for Microsoft. Uh, one of the projects coming out of my group is the Microsoft Spectrum Observatory. The goal behind this project is to collect data and uh, disseminate it uh, for well, spectrum data and disseminate it to various different interested parties. That includes researchers, academics, government, um, and industry as well. Uh, the goal is that the reason behind this goal is that we feel that data, the more data people have to base their decisions on, the more likely those decisions, the better those decisions would be. Um, and <laughs> by making sure that all the data is publicly available, it also allows some discourse um, among all those parties. Uh, this here is a snapshot of just kind of the UI that we have in place today. Uh, the, the site is live, it's been live for about a year and a half, two years. And we have, we, in the past, we were running the stations ourselves and we had about four worldwide. We currently have a few more, and our goals are to actually have this be a worldwide uh, spectrum monitoring solution. So it's not just US-based, but international as well. We, the, in the past year, we've been working on lowering the cost of our solution. So that way we could get more and more of these stations up around the world. We recently got the uh, support for stations that we can basically roll out for under $5,000 a piece. This includes using um, low, lower cost solutions, our sensors like RFI, or RFI and USRP radios. Uh, and you'll see both of those in the demo station that's all, um, over here. And we, we've got a mobile solution using the USRP stations uh, being demoed as well. Uh, the architecture of the system is similar to one that has been talked about by these two gentlemen on my right here. Um, the idea is that we have a, a, basically a PC attached to an RF sensor that has network uh, internet access as well. We constantly monitor the spectrum, wireless spectrum, depending on the hardware, from 50 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz today. Um, the type of hardware that we have out in there, we're open to pretty much any kind of hardware but we currently support only uh, USRP radios and RFI. Uh, there's also, by, by having a PC attached to the, the R, these RF sensors, there's also the ability to do a lot of pre-processing on the data before we upload it. Um, one of the key issues that we have with, with the solutions that we've come up with in the past, that there's a limit to how much data we can upload um, to a central repository. Right now, we upload about one minute level data, so you get max, min, and average for your um, for, uh, and a minute granularity. In the future, we'd like to go to about five to three second data, but um, it, that, that'll start to push the amount of uh, throughput that and bandwidth that we have on um, these connections for the PCs. Uh, you also have to remember some of the PCs we're talking about are located in places like Africa, where the internet connectivity is not as good as it is in other countries. <clears throat> Uh, one of our commitments has been around the openness and collaboration. Uh, as part of this, as of today, we went totally open source. Uh, all the source code, including our portal and our sensor uh, scanning code, is available on CodePlex uh, under Apache 2.0 license. So it's open for anyone to see at this point, and we're, welcome, we're welcoming collaborators as well. Uh, what can this be used for? Uh, some of, the, some of the concepts of what this could be used for, uh, Jesse kind of pointed to some, some uses that he's been going down the path of, uh, but we're open to other, other types of uses. We've been working with academics at MIT, uh, University of Washington, UCSB, and Rice, and we're, we're, oh, we're starting to broaden and actually uh, look, look for more partners in that space. We're also looking for partners in the regulatory, uh, regular space and, and as well as industry. So it's not as though we're, we want to go with this alone and that we're looking for one specific use case out of this. Uh, the goal is to make this uh, something that can be reused for various different use, for various different potential um, solutions. Uh, this is an example. Uh, DSA uh, it would be one. Jesse actually pointed to this. Um, his solution is going down, going down the path a little bit more in terms of uh, having kind of a database that actually gives you more more feedback than just a propagation model would and be able to do more than you can with um, what you have today. 